Hello, and welcome to the IB at R&D virtual presentation. My name is Jim David, and I'm the IB coordinator here at R&D. And it's my job to provide and implement the IB program here. In this presentation, I hope to give you enough information about the International Baccalaureate Organization, what is involved in the IB diploma, and how we implement the program here at R&D, so that you can make the best decision for yourself. One of the first questions I'm asked from people who don't know about the IB program is what, what is it exactly? The International Baccalaureate is a global organization recognized throughout the world as a first class provider of education from primary years through to high school graduation. From their mission statement here, we can see the emphasis on a global perspective and the idea of participating within the global community. Here at R&D, our students come from many different cultures and backgrounds and become part of our R&D community. The International Baccalaureate aims to develop inquiring, knowledgeable and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. And this is very much at the heart of what we do here at Regiopolis Notre Dame. We incorporate these global values and perspective into our everyday programming and our everyday teaching. The International Baccalaureate Program provides a broad-based, balanced, rigorous educational program. That word balanced is very important. Many people have the idea that the IB is strictly an academic program. And while the academics is certainly a part of IB, it is not the only part. In fact, IB prides itself on being a balanced program that focuses also on social, physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional growth of young people. It's these things that have made the IB program one of the most respected curriculums in the world. It's divided into four uh, levels of programming. There's the primary years, middle years, diploma program, and careers related program. Here at R&D, we offer the diploma program for senior level grades 11 and 12. IB truly is a global organization, as this slide demonstrates the widespread distribution of IB schools around the world. Currently, there are 3,421 IB schools in 157 countries. In Canada right now, there are 386 IB schools that offer 108 86 IB diploma programs. Right now in Ontario, there are the largest number of IB schools in Canada with 99. Also within Ontario, we have a separate umbrella organization called IBSO, International Baccalaureate Schools of Ontario, that provide each school with support and guidance in implementing the IB program. The IB Diploma Program is an additional high school diploma, which means that while students are working on the IB Diploma, they are simultaneously working to gain credits toward the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Students graduate with both diplomas at the end of grade 12. It's an internationally recognized diploma, as there are over 3,400 IB schools across the world Universities are very familiar with the high standards of IB and the rigorous curriculum. It's a well-balanced program. It's based on a liberal arts model, so students study across the curriculum. Senior courses take place in the humanities, social science, experimental science, math, and arts. As already mentioned, the IB Diploma Program focuses not just on academics, but all facets of a young person's life, social, physical, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual. The IB diploma is also a standardized diploma, which means that no matter where a student takes the diploma program, the curriculum and the assessments used to evaluate student progress are the same. The examinations take place in May and these examinations are the same throughout the world, no matter where one is studying. 
The IB diploma program is one of breadth and depth. Higher level courses extend beyond the Ontario Secondary School curriculum expectations. So very much students are studying at first year university level. And finally, the IB diploma is global in perspective. The curriculum is informed by research done all over the world. One of the pillars of an IB education is the IB learner profile. This is a set of 10 learner attributes that IB aims to develop in their learners. These attributes, IB believes, provides the necessary attitude and characteristics to flourish as global citizens and lifelong learners. The IB at R&D aims to develop learners who are inquirers, who are knowledgeable, who are thinkers, who are open-minded, who are caring, and who are risk takers. IB at R&D aims to develop learners who are also communicators, who are principled, who are balanced, and who are reflective. Looked at together, the attributes of the IB learner profile represent the IB mission in action. These attributes help students push the boundaries of what they know, what they can learn, and who they are. The IB Diploma Program was first implemented at Rigi 22 years ago, and since then R&D has had a consistent story of success. In each year since its implementation, R&D students have consistently exceeded the world average scores across all subject areas. In the past five years, the average overall R&D Diploma score has been 36.3 points out of a possible 45, and our average individual students' scores is 5.22 out of 7, which equates to 92% un under the Ontario grading scale. 99% of Rigi students who pursue the IB diploma are successful, and 100% of IB diploma students receive the OSSD. One of the strengths of the IB curriculum is the ongoing research used to create the curriculum and to keep it relevant and authentic for today's learners. Every five years, each subject taught within the diploma program is reviewed and modified to reflect and implement new developments in subject areas, areas of student learning, and in teacher training. The focus in IB diploma courses is not just what you learn, but how you learn. The focus is on skills, thinking, communication, social, self-management, and research skills, each of which contribute to make the IB learner a lifelong learner. Teaching methodology is based on inquiry, conceptual understanding, local and global concepts, differentiation, and assessment. As a point of fact, all IB teachers around the world need to be an IB accredited teacher and have undergone specific IB subject training workshops in order to teach the IB diploma curriculum. IB's approaches to teaching and learning, or ATL, ensure that teachers use the most current teaching strategies to provide students with an engaging experience unique from the regular OSSD stream. As previously mentioned, the IB Diploma Program is a balanced program. As we can see here, there are six subject groups that represent the full IB Diploma curriculum. Students need to take one subject from each of these six groups. First language, group two, second language, group three, individuals and society, group four, experimental sciences, group five, mathematics, and group six, arts and electives. In order to fulfill the requirements of the IB diploma, students must take three subjects studied at the higher level, which is 240 hours of instruction, and three subjects studied at the standard level, which is 
150 hours of instruction. As well, the IB diploma requires that students write an extended essay, that they take a theory of knowledge course, and that they fulfill the requirements of creativity, activity, and service, or better known as CAS. In most cases, students studying subjects at the higher level in grade 12 are extending their learning into first year university level material and as such are often given transfer credits upon entrance into first year university. In addition to fulfilling the requirements of subject curriculum, IB diploma students must also fulfill the core DP requirements. These include the extended essay, which is a 4,000 word research paper um, worked on independently with a teacher supervisor. Next is theory of knowledge, which is a 100 hour critical thinking course, which asks such questions like, how do we know? What do we know is knowledge? What forms does knowledge take? And last core requirement is creativity activity and service, which is an accumulation of experiences and reflections over the two year IB diploma program period. CAS begins in grade 11 and students build a portfolio that documents their engagement in services and extracurriculars outside the classroom. Bringing all of the elements together, an IB diploma student has a very well-rounded learning experience. At the core of this graphic, one can see the student at the very heart and the IB learner profile providing that foundation of attributes that make the rest of the IB diploma program an enriching, engaging, lifelong experience. In addition to the IB diploma, students may choose to enroll in the R&D IB certificate program, which is offered through R&D and requires students to complete four IB diploma courses, two at the higher level and two at the standard level. In the certificate program, students are not required to fulfill the requirements of the core. No extended essay, no CAS, and no theory of knowledge course. For those students who wish to take only one two or three IB courses, they may opt to do so. It's highly recommended that these courses are taken at the higher level in order to maximize the full benefit of the higher level curriculum when applying to university. As already mentioned, universities are very likely to offer transfer credits in first year for those students who are successful taking an IB higher level course. Preparation for the IB Diploma program begins at Rigi in grades 9 and 10. In grade 9 and 10, students will have some classes with only IB students and other classes that are mixed with students in the regular OSSD stream. In grade 9, IB specific subjects are English, French, Math and Science, and the same is true in grade 10. Students enrolled in the IB preparation program will take English, French, math, and science with only their IB peers. Rigi offers the following IB subjects in grades 11 and 12. At the higher level, choices include English, French, philosophy, history, chemistry, mathematics, music, history or chemistry as an alternative to an arts program. Philosophy is highlighted in orange because at Rigi, philosophy course fulfills three objectives. First, it is a higher level philosophy course, but at Rigi we embed the theory of knowledge course within our philosophy. And as Rigiopolis Notre Dame is a Catholic school, students are required to take four religion courses throughout their years. The grade 12 philosophy course counts as one of those religion credits 
So while students are taking the philosophy course, they are also fulfilling their obligations for a Catholic graduation diploma, as well as the theory of knowledge. At standard level, the choices include English, French, Spanish ab initio, which is for beginners, biology, mathematics, music, history, or biology as alternatives. IB assesses student achievement in two ways, internal assessment and external assessment. In internal assessment, students may be required to complete individual orals, presentations, essays, labs, solo performances, or projects. These internal assessments are marked by IB trained R&D teachers using IB criteria assessment tools provided by IB. These internal assessments are then uploaded to an IB website and then externally moderated by IB examiners. This external moderation fulfills two objectives. First, it ensures that R&D teachers are implementing the internal assessments properly, and second, that they are using the IB criteria assessment tools fairly and correctly. The second form of assessment is external, global final exams, standardized by IBO and assessed by IB examiners. So no R&D teachers are allowed to mark their IB students' exams. All exams occur in May examination period. All IB subject examinations are completed in May. However, results are not released until the beginning of July. External assessment also takes the form of the extended essay, theory of knowledge, and written tasks such as the higher level essay in English, French, and Spanish, and musical investigation. Since R&D IB diploma students receive both the OSSD diploma and the IB diploma upon graduation, they are, are also given two separate transcripts. One transcript is the Ontario OSSD, which shows their marks in percentage grades. In the IB diploma transcript, each diploma course is graded out of a possible seven points. The di full diploma, the highest points that students can achieve, is a maximum of 45. The extended essay, theory of knowledge, and completion of CAS are an additional three possible points. Students must achieve a minimum of 24 points in order to earn the IB diploma. Universities have admitted admission cutoff scores for each transcript and will use whichever transcript is to the advantage of the student. IB grades and Ministry of Education reporting vary significantly. IB assessment uses grade boundaries to determine the IB level out of a seven maximum points. For example, a student scores 20 out of 30 for an IB English internal assessment. Using IB's grade boundaries for their English IA, the 20 is actually a level five. Using our Ontario table of equivalents, that percentage grade under OSSD would be 84 to 92%. So when we do the math, simply a 20 out of a 30 is a 66.67%. However, under IB's assessment criteria, that 66 is actually between an 84 and a 92. International Baccalaureate Schools of Ontario has established a table of equivalents to represent IB grades in Ontario percentage marks. The most recent TOE for Ontario was effective in 2015. And as you can see, the grading scheme is rather generous given the point system versus percentage grades.
to demonstrate the IB and OSSD equivalency of grades. We'll take a look at this example. The IB scores are reflected in a maximum of seven points. So this student, taking English at the higher level, scored a six, or in the Ontario percentage table of equivalence, 94%. Their French at standard level, under IB points, was five. The Ontario percentage grade is 92%. Philosophy at higher level, this student scored a six or a 95. At biology, at standard level, the student scored a seven under IB. The Ontario percentage grade is a 97. Math, at the standard level, the student achieved a five or an 88%. And history, at the higher level, the student also scored a level five under IB or a 90%. Since Ontario universities look only at the top six percentage grades, we can see that this IB student achieved a 94% overall average. There is a pervasive myth about IB students achieving competitive grades versus Ontario secondary school students. However, as we can see, and I hope as this example has demonstrated, IB students achieve some of the highest and most competitive marks against their peers. At Regiopolis Notre Dame, IB students in grades 11 and 12 are provided with opportunities to travel internationally and experience cultures in other parts of the world. These opportunities provide students a chance to build leadership and team skills, and they aim to deepen students' understanding of communities in need and cultures that are different from ours. The following are some images of previous cast trips. In our most recent trip, we traveled to Peru to a small village where students learned the traditional method of making clay bricks to be used in building homes. It was a dirty job, but a lot of fun. Later, we worked in the fields to help harvest maize for dinner that evening. In 2017, we traveled to Vancouver Island to study the biodiversity of an old growth forest, the history of the 50 First Nations, and the marine life of the Pacific Coast. Here, the students are on an ethnobotany hike in the rainforest. In the lab at the Bamfield Marine Sciences Center, Students were engaged with some hands-on experiments with marine organisms. Here, we are volunteering at a First Nations community in Northern Ontario. Building a playground in the Dominican Republic. Serving meals at a community center in Costa Rica. In 2015, we traveled to Nicaragua, Waves of Hope program, which was started by a Rigi grad. On this trip, we helped build a school by hand digging the hole for the school's septic tanks. Again, another dirty job, but a lot of fun. And here we are in 2019, visiting one of the wonders of the world, the ancient ruins of Machu Picchu. These trips are voluntary. Students help fund their own way through other service projects at the school and by fundraising initiatives. At Rigi, student learning is truly extended beyond the academic curriculum to provide students with the greatest amount of opportunities for a balanced educational program. In our next couple of slides, we try to answer the question, why take IB? At Rigi, IB students learn with like-minded students. In the full diploma program, grades 11 and 12 students study with their own cohort and classes are separated from regular OSSD students. IB offers students opportunities to extend their learning beyond the Ontario curriculum. As we've seen with the Diploma Program core of Creativity, Activity and Service, Theory of Knowledge, Extended Essay and Higher Level Courses. IB offers unsurpassed preparation for university including time management skills, inquiry learning, 
global perspective, a rigorous academic challenge, and proven research skills. The IB program puts a deliberate focus on the IB learner profile to nurture lifelong learning skills. As IB is a global educational program, universities around the world recognize the value of an IB education and the merits of its graduates. Most Canadian universities offer IB diploma graduates first year transfer credits with a higher level score of five in their courses. CAS, TOK, and Extended Essay helps to distinguish IB graduates from other OSSD students. Students graduate with two diplomas and two transcripts. IB's diploma's competitive value is also highly recognized with university entrance scholarships. When looking at IB transcripts, universities can trust that the grades are valid and reliable as the curriculum is standardized across the globe, as well as assessment. Furthermore, the curriculum is evolving and students can be sure that the material they are learning is current, relevant, and taught using the best practices based on pedagogical research. And perhaps most importantly of all, is that students have proven emotional resilience and intellectual maturity for the university learning environment. The selection process for grade eight students wishing to enroll in Regi's IB preparation program is straightforward. Students require a recommendation letter from their grade eight teacher completion of the registration package and the ARP, Applicant Response Paragraph. These forms are available on our school website. More details will follow at the end of the presentation. Continuation into the Grade 10 prep program is based on the recommendations of the Grade 9 English, Math and Science teacher. Each student's academic standing is reviewed. Entrance into the formal IB diploma program occurs in the midst of the grade 10 year when students decide which program is the best fit for them. Students consult with the IB coordinator and our IB guidance counselor in coordination with parents. Student achievement in their grade 9 and 10 subjects is reviewed to determine suitability for the programs. The IB coordinator reviews each student's marks to ensure that a 75% overall average is maintained in the IB subjects. At R&D, we are very proud of our IB graduates. Parents and students might find it helpful to hear what they have to say about the IB program here at Regi and the value of their experience. From one of our students in 2013, he said, I found going through IB very helpful throughout my undergrad, and thanks to IB transfer credits, I was able to graduate early while fitting in both co-op and an exchange. From one of our graduates in 2016, she said, I felt very prepared entering university and found the transition over the first few months to be very smooth. I'm certain that it was completing IB that made the transition seamless. Writing my first few papers in my medical science class was made significantly easier because I already knew how to use databases and properly cite sources. A graduate of 2018 said, IB allowed me to learn about what interests me. The transfer credits allowed me to skip first year university at McGill and get an entrance scholarship, saving on tuition, housing and food. The smaller class sizes allowed for great discussion, individual learning, and debates, especially in philosophy, and almost one-on-one -on -one student teacher interaction. And one of our most recent IB graduates had this to say, I'm currently writing a scientific literacy project for biology and designing an experiment in chemistry. My knowledge and experience from the internal assessments has helped me a lot. The workload is also very similar to what I had during IB, so I didn't feel the impact is hard, and the concepts and material are also very similar. So I'm very grateful for doing the IB Diploma Program. 
The fees for the different IB programs are as follows. For the full diploma, it's $330 per year for four years for a total of $1,320. For the RND IB certificate program, it's $330 for two higher level courses, which equals $660, and $275 for two standard level courses for $325 and a total of $1,210. If students opt to take individual diploma courses, each higher level course is $330 and each standard level course is $275. Please note that all fees are payable online by September 1st using the School Cash Online found on our R&D School website. For more information about the IB program at R&D, please contact Jim David, IB Coordinator at david at alcdsb.on.ca or go to our website, IB Program at R&D. If you'd like more information about the IB in general, please contact International Baccalaureate Organization or IBO. To register online, please go to Student Registration by clicking here or you may find it on our school website. Thank you very much for listening to our virtual IB at R&D presentation.